They're finally here. After being delayed almost 6 months, the Beats X are finally hitting storage shelves. When Apple conjured up the courage to remove the headphone jack from the iPhone, they doubled down by showcasing their new W1 chip and all the wireless earphones that would take advantage of the new technology. Unlike the Powerbeats 3 or Beats Solo 3, which were simply given new internals and a slight design refresh, the Beats X are the first wireless earphones to be designed by Apple engineers after Apple acquired Beats by Dre. The Beats X currently come in black or white, but blue and gray versions will be released by the end of February, unless they get delayed again, which wouldn't surprise me. They currently sell for $149.95. Link is in the description if you want to buy a pair. I'll keep it updated so you can get the best deal possible. Alright, let's get into the unboxing. Packaging here is very similar to the Powerbeats 3. Front and center are the actual Beats X themselves. Under that, you'll find three additional pairs of silicone ear tips and two pairs of wing tips. More on these in just a second. You also get a silicone carrying case and a shortened lightning cable. You also get some documentation, a beat sticker, and a code for three months of Apple Music. Matter of fact, go ahead and use this code because, you know, I love you. Comment below and let me know if you got it. The Beats X themselves are pretty long. They're supposed to rest on your neck. The whole surface of the Beats X has a soft touch feel to them, which is great because they don't cause any discomfort while you wear them. They're also extremely lightweight and flexible, and you forget you're even wearing the thing after a while. The middle portion, or the portion that actually rests on your neck, is a little thicker and stiffer compared to the wires that attach to the earbuds. The Beats X also have these bulges on either side, which are made of hard plastic. It's safe to assume this is where the battery and electronics live. The left bulge, you know what, I'm gonna call these pods instead. Uh, the left pod has a lightning port for charging and the right pod has just one button for turning the Beats X on and off and for pairing with non-Apple devices. I am however very dissatisfied with the power button. The power button has a very dissatisfying click to it and I can never really tell if I turn them on or not. The Beats X also has an inline controller that has a built-in microphone. The inline controller on the Beats X is the same one as the Powerbeats 3. Unlike the power button, the controller has a very satisfying click to them and is super easy to control your music playback. The earbuds themselves are very small and are angled a bit. These earbuds do a great job of getting in your ear canal and creating very decent passive noise isolation. The earbuds themselves attach to each other magnetically for cable management when they're not in use. One detail I did notice is that the contact points have that soft touch material which means they won't get scratched or banged up after repeatedly smacking into one another. It's a nice touch. The earbuds feel pretty secure when they're in your ear, but if you want a more secure fit, you can use the included wing tips. You only get two pairs and Apple made them idiot proof. The casing is made out of hard plastic and the fins themselves are made out of silicone. In order to put them on, you first need to remove the earbud and then slide the casing on. Putting them on is the easy part, taking them off is a little harder. But overall, the wing tips make the Beats X a great option if you want to wear them while working out. Just remember, they aren't water or sweat resistant. Overall, these earbuds sound pretty good. They aren't bass heavy like other Beats product and they don't sound tinny. Overall, they have a very well-balanced sound signature and a good sound stage. The battery life on the Beats X is pretty good as well. You get 8 hours of playback time from a full charge and they also feature fast fuel, which means you can get 2 hours of playback time from just 5 minutes of charging. And you get those 8 hours of playback time from just 45 minutes of charging. The Beats X also has that brand new W1 chip, which has completely changed the way I pair and listen to music. The W1 chip allows for easy pairing with all of your Apple devices. Once your Beats X is paired with your iPhone, they'll automatically pair with all of your other Apple devices associated with the iCloud account. So you can go from listening to music on your iPhone to watching a YouTube video on your computer by just changing your source and without having to go through the hassle of pairing every single time. If you want to use the Beats X with non-Apple devices, you can pair it to normal Bluetooth by pressing and holding the power button until they are in pairing mode. Overall, I'm very pleased with the Beats X. They're more affordable than the Powerbeats 3 and the Apple AirPods. They have a very balanced sound signature which will please your average listener. Their 8 hour battery life and fast fuel capabilities means you'll be able to keep up with almost anyone. Their overall design is great for wearing almost anywhere, whether you're at the gym, out and about, or at the office. The included wing tips help keep them in place if you want to wear them while working out. I personally think the Beats X are more versatile than the AirPods and Powerbeats 3. Go and check out my Beats X vs Powerbeats 3 video and my Beats X vs AirPods video. And keep an eye out for my Beats X vs Jaybird X3 video as well. Hey, if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, please high five the like button, it helps the channel grow. If you like videos like this, subscribe. For more product reviews and fitness advice videos coming. For more, check out jimcaddy.net and I'll catch you next time.